Well, good afternoon. Thank you very much for joining us on our next session on the Future Print Virtual Conference. And actually, I'm super pleased to have with me uh, Mr. Peter Bergstein of Bergstein, uh, the company. Um, Peter, good, good, good afternoon to you. Hey, hello, everybody. How are you doing, Fraser? Yes, I'm good. Thank you very much for joining us. It's the first time that Bergstein have been with us on our Future Print uh, conferences, so uh, it's, a, it's a pleasure for me to, to have a chance to have a chat with Peter, find out more about um, single-pass customization for industrial, which is really your story, isn't it, Peter? Yes, yes, it is, yes. We try to focus on only single-pass printing. And the machine that we're looking at here is the Digi7, I believe? Yeah, the machine you see behind, that's a Digi7, the white format. That's the one we just installed uh, recently, uh, about two weeks ago. Brilliant, fantastic, and it's a single pass. I can see, I can see where things would actually run out on there. Um, and you're going to explain a little more in your presentation a bit about the whole portfolio of products that you've got, because you you really are. I guess you're you'd say you're a customizer. Is that right? Have I got that right? Is or an integrator? Yes. What what, yes. what are yes. you as a business? Yes, our logo is, is and, and our perception is that we don't sell printers, we sell solutions. So for a customer that is interested in a digital solution for industrial printing, he should come to us. Super. And I guess in terms of any kind of requirement, if someone's got something very specific they're trying to do, so it could be printing on a, a cup or a, you know, a mug, or it could, be, it could be a really technical bit of... Uh, equipment that they want to print onto, your machines do that, don't they? Not everything, but we try to solve uh, most of the things that people are asking us. So it's always you... a matter of, but not every pro uh, product can be printed digital. Point. Sure, 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 sure. And what typically, what kind of things do you do you get as the the, the challenges that people have in in manufacturing and printing on a manufactured product? This moment, for example, we have a huge product project that works on printing on gloves. Right. Okay. So, uh, totally different stuff than printing on plastics or yeah. than glass. So it's not only finding the right inks, but it's also finding the right equipment to print on. And how about loading and unloading? You know, that's really something special, something different. Yeah, I guess there's a big change there also on, on things like glass. The addition of the inks to the glass is more tricky. So there's all those kind of challenges, aren't there? Yes, yes. So advanced uh, tests, but you will see that in the presentation. Um, that that's, that's one of the keys that makes it a success to have a digital printing at the facility of a customer. You know, if, if the front, if you can sell a machine, give it away for free, but it does not has the right potential for the customer regarding adhesion, print quality, speed, blah, 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 then there's no need to sell this printer. Yeah. Okay, so let's uh, go to your presentation. I know you've got a couple of videos. Um, yes. So you're gonna, it's going to tell a bit more of the story about the portfolio of products you have and some of the different options that people would have in terms of a, a, a unique machine that – is uh, effectively able to customize inkjet, pr uh, inkjet printing on, on different products. Yes, correct. correct. Yes. Okay. Now, everybody, uh, just a small presentation. Sit down, relax, fasten your seatbelts, and uh, enjoy this uh, presentation. This presentation, company Bergstein, we sell industrial digital printing solutions. Uh, to give you a good idea and a good view, I would like to start with a small video. At Bergstein, we design and develop the latest in high-tech industrial printing solutions. With our modular range of Digi5, Digi7, and Digi9 printers, and our standalone single print modules, we can provide you with huge amounts of prints per hour, ramping up your production capacity. More than 50 years ago, we started in the industrial printing business and from there on developed a future-proof digital printing solution. With our team of skilled developers, technicians and print specialists, we develop, produce and deliver a custom-made solution catering your needs. 
the in-house development and production of our own ink systems, print modules, and related software guarantees the best quality prints for your product printed in high speed. On top of that, we also deliver loading and unloading solutions for our printers, integrated in your production line. At Bergstein, we don't sell printers, we sell solutions. Okay, I hope that, uh, that sounds good already. Um, just give you some general information about our company, just a, fly, a few remarks that we're doing this business for more than 52 years in industrial printing. We started with, uh, with pad printing, later on we added uh, screen printing, and now we try to conquer the market into the, with digital printing. So we deliver an industrial solution to customers. What does that mean? So everything which is related to the request of the customer will be handled by us. It's not only selling a machine, but it's all about test printing, getting the right ink, getting the right uh, print heads, the right software, a loading and unloading system, whatever the requirements are from the customer, we can deliver this. And we're doing this for more than 10 years. Um, with all the experience we have from pad printing and from screen printing and all the problems they, they are there in pad printing and screen printing, we know a lot uh, to handle questions like adhesion, like print quality and like movement mechanics and software. So we're selling a complete printing package to customers, as I mentioned already before. It's the request of the customer, um, which he has. We try to find a way and to solve and to give him a solution that the customer will be satisfied. And if that takes another loading system or an extra jettable primer system or an unloading system, fine. So actually, what are the advantages in digital to other print methods? So how we see this, why should they buy a single uh, pass printing for the industrial market? First of all, a huge advantage to other print methods is that we can print on demand. You just print whatever you need per day, per hour, per month, per year. It doesn't matter anymore. You don't need any stocks. You just print what you need. Another big advantage, of course, is the personalization of products. Each and every product could be different. Should not be, but could be different because we use files. We don't need to change any cliches, pads, screens, offware, offset plates, whatever. And that's the, the other one is the limited setup times. By changing a file, you already can print something totally different. If you compare this to offset or pad printing, you should switch the machine, um, have new screens loaded, uh, put some new inks in it. We don't need, we don't have any uptimes uh, when changing a file or a product. Also the cost for supplies, because everything is already built in the machine. We don't need extra supplies uh, if we change uh, in file or in, in product handling. Another point which is a huge advantage in, for digital is the constant print quality. If you compare this to screen printing, pad printing, then the viscosity of the ink could be an issue, the humidity could be an issue, the temperature could be an issue outside. Um, in the machine, everything has a constant uh, quality, and that means that you will also have a constant, a constant print quality. Another uh, huge advantage is contactless printing. We've seen this in the medical industry that it's not allowed that you can touch a product, and uh, because the, only the drops will fall onto the product, you will never touch the product, like pad printing or screen printing. Um, this is a huge advantage in some market areas. Of course, a high production speed. People ask us, how many parts can we print per hour? Of course, depending on the product, but it could be 10 thousands of products per hour, which you can run through the machine uh, and even personalized if it should be. 
or if, if there's a request from the customer. One of the other advantages is that you can different the print settings easily so you can upgrade or change the colors within seconds due to the software. If you compare this to, for example, screen printing, you have to take out the ink, put some new ink in it, start all over again. Here it is just pressing a button in the software. And one of the last ones, and there are maybe other advantages, is that we can use our machines uh, inline as well as offline. So come to the solutions that Bergstein can offer to a customer. What actually are, why is it Bergstein and why do we differ from other providers? One of them is we do everything in-house. So we test in-house to analyze the specific needs for a customer. We, uh, we analyze the plastics. We have our own chemist in-house. We do all this test printing in-house to first have a first impression and uh, to see if we can um, fit in the requirements of a customer. And that's very important because if we have this information, then we can configure the printer for all these all the customer's needs. In this figuration, we work modular-wise. We have several modules which we can implement in each machine. First module is a pretreatment module, if it's needed. We have flame, we have corona, we have plasma, we have flame with pyrozeal. Everything is possible to put this in our machines. The second one is a jettable primer module. If a jettable primer is needed to get a good adhesion, then we can add this in the machine as well. Another module, which of course is needed, are the colors. We have white, uh, we have a basic clear, we have a high opacity white. Of course, we have the CMYK colors, and now and then we also uh, provide customers with the, with the spot colors. Curing models are needed as well because we use 99% UV curable inks. Uh, we provide a customer with LED as well as uh, UV curing modules, which are needed to get this best and solid adhesion for a customer. And the last one is we have our own mist absorption modules, which take care that as less as mist as we can will drop onto a product, which means that the print quality will be very nice and very sharp. All this um, makes us that we had a lot of development over the last years um, by making our own ink system, uh, having our own print boards, making our own LED lamp, and developed a, a very interesting mist absorption unit. Everything is developed and made by Bergstein and will be integrated into a line that, is, that takes care of the need of a customer. So if the machine is ready, everything will be done by Bergstein, but also the whole packaging, including installation, training, after sales and service will be done by our company. So everything is on one hand, customer does not need to worry about anything. And if you can see where are our customers right now, you can see they, uh, they are everywhere around the world. We installed a machine in the US, we stole a machine in China, we went back to, to Sweden, then we had a machine for Procter & Gamble in, in Dubai, we have sold a machine to guys in England, uh, even in Holland we have uh, the first machine installed, we went back to the US, we have customers in Poland um, and another one in Poland as well. We installed that one last week. Uh, we have a customer in Holland, which is Philips. And now we are providing a customer in the US. So it's not only one machine. We got several machines. We take care of the service for whole the world. This one over here is a Digi5 printer uh, where we use the same print a machine uh, and a different kind of transport station. At this machine, we use a slide system, 
where a product will be guided underneath all the print heads and all the equipment and then returns to its first position. Here, it, it's ready, it gets covered, so no problem. Then it starts running underneath all the modules we spoke about. And at the end, when it's finished, it goes back with about 100 meter per minute. So this is a complete solution for a customer that needs to print solid products in single pass. The machine is approximately uh, about 500,000 euros starting. Okay. Okay, and uh, here is my second video. The second video shows a DG7 with the unloading system done by a robot. On the request of a customer, he asked us to move away from three lines from screen printing into one line of single pass digital printing, where only one person will be loading the products instead of three person in the screen printing uh, operation. What you see is glass plates. Uh, we can handle different glass plates on the same carrier. Um, they will be printed and after printed, the robot will take them out and place them in racks. Here you see the single pass modules, the flow modules, uh, which we use on this machine. And you can see the glass plates lying on special carriers. The glass plates will be taken out, placed into racks, done. This system uh, say as a cost saving for the customer for more than 24 people per day. So it's very interesting for them to change screen printing into digital printing. And that's it. Okay, hope that gives you a good idea of uh, what, what we uh, are doing right now. That was great. Thank you very much, Peter. Yeah, really good. And um, obviously if we weren't in lockdown, uh, you'd have, be having people into your factory to give them a, a, a little show round and see some of these products in action, wouldn't you? Yes, yes. Yeah, we have uh, our own, in our own facility, we have test equipment and, and a test machine to show the capability because actually you should see this. Yeah. Our video looks nice, but if you really look at it and you, then you can see the advantages. And if a customer comes with a product, we even can run it through the machine during the time he's at our place. Yeah, yeah. I, th I think what I was uh, found interesting about the... Your presentation was you explaining the sort of modular approach that you have and that if if people come with a, a challenge that you are, you know, you're keen to kind of solve that and it will be with one of your approaches or, you know, you've got that kind of modular way of doing things. Yes. Gives you the flexibility, doesn't it? Now, just out of curiosity, I was thinking as we, was going, as we were going along, let's say I'm uh, listening to this, I'm a potential customer. Um, they come to you with a challenge. And how long, what's the process, you know, what, how long does it take for them to, to go from a point at which they're bringing you a product to, to, to look at printing on to the point at which you've got a machine shipped in and running? So the first, uh, we have six steps. The first step normally is, is test printing because I would like to show the customer um, the results. So he has something in his hand, which he likes. And with all these results, from all these test prints, we can build him, let's say we can offer him a machine that fits his needs. Sure. Then the process is always, how long does it take until the customer decides whether he would like to order yes or no? Of course. But from there on, a standard DG7 can be built within 14, 16 weeks. Yeah, uh, if it's more complicated with loading, with unloaded, it, it, it will be more. And of course, if it's a totally sophisticated, special out of the box machine, yeah. it will take longer. But the implementation, everything which involves normally take about half a year. Yeah, I guess all I was trying to work out is there is a path that you follow if someone's coming to you with a particular challenge, uh, depending on how complex it is, you can solve that quite quickly. Um, and actually, 
that you know you were talking to me the other day about kind of shipping out into Poland and getting things set up you know you're very much part of it you go with the, with you know with the customer on the journey don't you yes yes it, it should be a dialogue as well uh, um, it's not like many of our uh, other competitors or providers that they only have this we can do whatever the customer wants you know it's not we only have this size and we have this length or this width we try of course to stay in our range of modules but we can choose a lot, a lot more than maybe other people can do. And I guess the the other question that often people are, would like to ask, and it's, you know, I, I don't want to put you on the spot, but what is the kind of, you know, investment we're talking about here? Let's say the Digi5, uh, the investment and the return on investment, how quickly does it deliver value? So tell me a bit yeah. about that. Yes, of, of course, it's all, all related, of, uh, for example, on the products. What's the amount of products? If you only have 10,000 parts per year or you have 10 million parts or 100 million parts per year, um, but then the loading, the unloading will be different. Uh, um, the machine will be different. And, and a startup machine, like uh, um, we, we, we have one first machine that, that's our entrance machine, and uh, that's about 150,000 euros. And then it will go up to yeah. whatever, you know, do you need yeah. pretreatment? Do you need loading? Do you need unloading? Should everything will be automated? It could be 1.3, 1.5 million. Yeah, that depends on the sophistication, the requirements, the challenges, all those things. Yes. But that gives us a bit of an idea of a kind but of a compact, A compact DG, we call it a compact. That's maximum two colors uh, with a specific size. Uh, starts with uh, 150,000 yeah. euros. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's good to know because that gives us a bit, bit of a ballpark figure. Um, so, so just just out of curiosity, you're obviously observing where the market is at the moment and, and what's happening. Uh, you know, we've gone through the, the challenges of COVID, but we're now hoping that we'll come out and there'll be a bounce back. And, and you know, there's clearly still manufacturing is occurring. Just out of curiosity, where are you? Where do you see things going in the next uh, 12 months? What's your kind of view of, of the marketplace? Uh, at this moment, we have so many requirements that uh, <laughs> that's very interesting for us. Uh, and, and they're all in different markets. Uh, we talked about a Fraser that uh, should there be a focus on a specific market area. But at this mo moment, I think the market for industrial digital printing in single pass is so huge yeah. still. Yeah. And we see that, that people come from plastics, still metals, still... Uh, whatever glass uh, from small parts, very big parts from the automotive industry, the medical industry is very interesting right now. Uh, um, it doesn't matter. So yeah. we have customers like Disney products, like like brake pads. You know what's the difference? Totally yeah. different area, yeah. but nice markets. Yeah, I think it's great. It's you know it, it just it, it resonates, doesn't it? Because for us, uh, the opportunities are huge. Uh, you know, the industrial inkjet market is just the possibilities are endless um so it's interesting to hear you talk about it in terms of you know what you're hearing what you're seeing the requests you're getting and and how as a businessman you are thinking right well look you know i don't want to be focusing on just one specific area i want to have uh, a number of machine options and and as you said yourself that modularity of of, of what you have means you can be quite flexible but clearly it's all about single pass for you isn't it it's all yes. about that yeah, yes yeah Yes. So the single pass could be like I showed you in the in the videos with the conveyor belt or a slide system, but the next step, of course, will also be robotics. Yeah. But that will be also a future, and that's a development. But first, we would like to have everything settled in the modules that we have right now. There's some new, really crazy stuff coming up that is even more interesting for customer. We will have we are working on this, and we'll have this ready. Uh, to launch it into the market, which allows customers even more easily to work with automations, because that's the key word. You don't have, you don't find the right people anymore. Um, you, you're, you're not allowed to have so many people uh, on working on machines anymore. Then an automation, which is very clever with software and hardware, that's the key and that's the issue. I know well, that's, that's a solution. I mean, yeah, yeah, no, it's interesting because that's been a bit of a theme at, at this particular conference. Is there's just sort of the interconnectivity of uh, the print industry and kind of the importance of software 
of the you know the engines the systems the, the the integration of all these elements together because people have started to buy little bits of each yes. and they're trying to work out how to bring it together uh, just out of curiosity as we kind of get to a point where we're going to wrap up i just wonder your customer base are they traditional people you know are they traditional manufacturers are they from the print industry you know are they what's their background what, you know where do you find these people Actually, at this moment, most of them come to us. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think we have a good market strategy, but we don't need it right now because it's a mouth uh, over mouth yeah. Uh, yeah. That, that people say and hear and listen and look at our video from the website and become interesting. Uh, the imprint show we had for many years uh, was very interesting for us. Um, and also... Through the past, through all the, the screen printing and pad printing, we know a lot of people. Sure, and these sure. guys are now getting more and more into industrial Digital. printing. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I guess that. So your, your heritage has been quite useful, hasn't it? Your yes. Kind of oh, yeah, for heritage. sure. Also with the problems, that, the knowledge we have in, 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 in the problems for printing, in pad printing, screen printing, we can yeah. solve them in the same way right now. And if somebody enters now the digital market who has no clue about adhesion or how to treat this, okay, he, he will have a problem. Yeah, and as you said, I, I guess because of your background with screen printing and pad printing and, and inks particularly, you you kind of get it. You can help them on that path, can't you? Yes. You can say, look, look, there, there are worries that uh, you know digital won't be able to do what it should be doing you know you can say well listen you know because of our history we've taken we've taken the experience we had and we've worked out how to put that into a digital environment as well as a sort of traditional environment yes correct and of course it's not only me i got a nice team of guys and girls behind me that uh, that makes this uh, happening yeah yeah now listen thank you very much peter we're just coming to the end of our time uh, i just want to say thank you very much thank you for joining us you're welcome to have it, it's been really good to have you just explain a little bit about bergstein and 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 actually the products you know we can see in the background looks fantastic um you know yeah there it is <laughs> it says it all doesn't it so thank you very much peter 